Top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Outlast. This is a game that I think really needs no introduction. A lot of people in the horror scene have been looking forward to this for quite a while. Me included, I've been really looking forward to it. I've had it bought for a long time and I was so, spent so long downloading it today. My internet sucks so much, but I'm so happy to be playing it now. It's really late and I'm staying up to play this game because I want to get a video out for you guys as soon as possible. Now, this game is being touted as being extremely scary. I've been visiting forums today of people saying what they've thought of, like the first hour of it, saying that it's terrifying. And i that's a lot to live up to. I have high expectations for this game now. But I haven't seen a whole lot of gameplay of this. I have seen like one trailer for it and a little bit of gameplay and I thought that looks good. I'm gonna black out on this now because I wanna play that completely fresh. So let's just get right in. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. How could you not enjoy that? Listen to what it just described. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. So, I was going to insert the name of a place, but I can't think of a place. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Such a cool name! Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Not very good choices. Running... I, I'm out of breath really fast when I run. Hiding doesn't last very long most times. Dying? I haven't tried it yet, but I hear it's bad. Can't even hear what he's saying. I'm guessing there's subtitles supposed to be on in this game. Sorry. Okay, so somebody's spraying for something. I still can't hear it, so... If you guys can't hear it, I'm sorry. I can't hear it either. I should have subtitles on. Mount Massive Asylum. I'm getting, like, Batman Arkham Asylum vibes off this already. But I'm, I'm so giddy for this game. So happy that I'm playing it. Dude, you're not even gonna pull up to the booth. You're just gonna pull it, pull it in here, and park your car. You can't do that. That's a terrible idea. Your car's gonna get taken. Oh, my trusty camera. September 17th, 2013. That hasn't even come yet. This is from the future. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. NDAs are non-disclosure agreements. It means you're not supposed to break them by big companies. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Inception. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Dream therapy. Crazy. Batteries. My badass camera. Apparently I have to record everything. Oh, so you mean like everything. Miles up, sure. Independent. Okay. That's my press badge. Thank you. Night vision works. Night vision a go. It's time to film some saucy movies in the bedroom. Okay, I am I am off. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook tab. Continue your notes and I picked up documents J. Okay, so tab is my go-to place. I'm just gonna tab because reaching across to N and J all the time is kind of annoying. Okay, I'm gonna turn on subtitles real quick. Sorry. Sorry. Show subtitles. Done. You see how fast that was? I did I barely even took you out of the game. This is one of the reasons why I was looking forward to this game so much, is because it looks so damn good. It's just gates. Okay. The horror does not begin yet. But it looks really, really nice. And a lot of what goes into a horror game is how it looks. The best thing about a horror game is how it can look. It really drives immersion. Is there anything in here? 
I'm just gonna need a lay for the controls. Storm's rolling in. Okay, can I open this gate? Left mouse button. Ah, that's kind of weird. Okay. Just getting a feel for this. It's like really weird motion blur when you run around with the camera. How do I change to night vision? Night vision? Okay, didn't tell me. I'm sure it'll tell me what I needed at the worst time. But yeah, like really good visuals and especially really good lighting in a horror game can really do wonders for it. And this looks fantastic. Left shift, yeah, that's basic. Mount Massive Asylum. Beep! Uh, Miles Upshur here. Is that my name? I kind of forgot already. Locked? Oh man, how do we get in? This is not off to a good start. Go to Mount Massive Asylum, witness all the scary things, but oh, can't get in, sorry. Aha, crouchy hole. Man, I can crouch deep, I think I just heard my knees cracking. I bet you this door's gonna be locked. I'm gonna have to go on scaffolding, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, scaffolding it up, Jacksepticeye, here we go. Camcorder active, you can zoom in and out with mouse scroll. Yeah, I figured that out already. Why am I doing it again? Good job. Please let nothing fall on me. That would suck. Can I see inside? Oh, I do have lean. Oh, I love lean in horror games. It's like peek around the corner. Oh, what's around there? Scary things. Ah, he jumps forward. <coughs> Hardcore parkour up in this. Yeah, Mirror's Edge, what? Outlast is the king, yo. Man, I hope this game is scary. I haven't had like a really good scary game in a long time. I know I say that a lot, but I haven't like had a bigger budget scary game in a long time and I'm so excited to be playing this. <coughs> Oh, well, the lights are breaking already. How do I switch to my night vision? Can you tell me? Oh, I didn't want to recharge my... Back to your night vision. Oh, F. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. This is not going to be nice. That is an extremely nice night vision effect. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this, playing this game. That is such a good night vision effect. Can I open doors with the camera equipped? I... I can. Okay. I thought I couldn't. That would have raised the tension a lot. So I don't have to record everything. That's pretty cool. I guess I'm gonna need my night vision a lot, though. Hello, Faro! You look like the devil in priest form. Christ. Oh, I have legs! You never have legs in these games. It's just a TV. I saw a shadow there. Are you seriously in with these scares already? It's ten past nine. Off to TV, please. It's making a lot of nice. Morning TV. I thought it said morning. Top of the morning. Okay, there's a lot of detail in these environments. That's awesome. What's that down there? It's a fuzzy window. Oh God, this is tense already. We're like ten minutes into the game. I'm glad it's not a game that you have to search every single drawer. Like, I like Amnesia and all. I like searching games. But some games overdo it. You search, like, every single little item. Batteries are nice. Thanks. 
Thanks for the battery. I'll leave now. Everything's mooring. Make TVs and make radiators. What do we got here? J. Psychiatric system. Project Wall Rider. Okay. Billy! Age 19, male. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry. I don't know what that is. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. These are a lot of big words in this game. I don't know. MRI revealed arithmetic REM NREM cycle. Laughter in REM state. This is a tongue twister game. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkov and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics, Murkov psychiatry, blah blah blah. Okay, so in dream states, which is what they're experimenting on, crazy shit is happening. And that guy is like, tapping into people's memories. Oh, of course it's the toilet! Of course the toilet door closes, it's always the freaking toilets in these games! Okay, let's not go to the toilet yet. Oh, cola! Hello? Who's there, please? That does not instill confidence, does it? Like, how did the blood get in the ceiling? Ah, it's blood on the roof! Is that an intestine? Seriously, is that an intestine? Somebody's been doing some surgery simulator up in this place. Battery, thank you. Please, avoid contamination. Wash your hands. Don't piss all over them. Ah, oh, blood stains on my feet! Okay, let's go to the bathroom then. I guess. This is probably locked, is it? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, the bathroom's locked now as well! Who's in there? Are you taking a dump? One or two? I kinda gotta go. Um, this is not gonna end well for me. Not at all. Not even a little. Oh, okay. Lucky I jumped up into this little vent here. That could have. Ooh. Okay, so I got a feeling for what the monster is. I thought he's gonna jump into the vent after me. That would have sucked. Someone over there. There's someone over there. Same guy? Okay, I can't open that. I don't want to anyway. I want to keep progressing. I don't want to go that way where the bad guy is. <laughs> ah! No thank you! No thank you! Music stop please! Stop stop stop! Dude you've no head! Why do you have no head? Oh you're not looking good! I'm getting out of here! Hi! Hi! Let me know. Okay! Okay, easy does it, easy does it. Holy balls, look at all the heads! No thanks. No. I don't want any of this. This is not what I ordered. Oh. What's wrong with you? Zikado. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. For security control. 
You dead? Is that the end of you? Look at all these faces! Did I just hear someone? Oh god, no. Get out of here. I gotta recharge my battery. Worst batteries ever! There's torsos, there's bodies. I don't want to go out there! Oh, please don't let him be here! This game is right into it! I think he's gone. I think we're okay for now. Oh, why with the night vision camera? Okay, I kind of need my night vision a lot. What is this? Ah, oh, hand in the toilet. Do you need a hand wiping? Ha <laughs> ha! That's probably what that's there for. You, you know, you, you don't want to reach around and wipe yourself, so there's a hand in the toilet already. Listen to how quiet this freaking place is. It's quarter past nine now. Is that real time? That would be kind of cool. Okay, I guess I gotta go. What the fuck? No, 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 no! Holy crap! And who are you then? Who are you? I should ask you the same question, buddy! Oh man! I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Thank you? Don't kill me! Did you see my camera? Escape this item, access security controls, and lock the main doors. Okay, I'm just inside, and now I have to escape already. Oh, he didn't steal my camera. Thank you, good guy priest. Okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay, I did not expect the scares to, like, kick off that soon. Yeah! What did I get? A warrant for seizure. We are satisfied that the affidavits and the testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action to depart MHS the grounds is issuance of this warrant. Blah, blah, blah. What is the warrant for? Full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. Okay, so I'm guessing that that didn't go down too well. Proclaim the gospel. The gospel according to who? Okay, so the enemies are called variants. They're just like variants of humans. Normal people. This is a really good looking game. I like the use of color. There's a nice sense of presence to everything. Like this feels like a real place. Have any of you played the Condemned games? This is exactly what this feels like. Huge Condemned vibes off this. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. Let's search around a little. This is a big ass place. Also, I'm sorry if I'm not like talking as loud or as much as I normally do. I it's like really late. It's like half one in the morning and my parents they're not in the same place as me. But they will hear me if I start shouting. What can I hear? Is that the sound of a fan? I hope so. Oh man, this night vision is awesome! But it's freaking terrifying at the same time. Oh, Nelly. 
Oh, nearly the elephant. This is so good so far, isn't it? Do you guys like it? Man. Right in there with the scares, too. There's always a wheelchair in a horror game. Just sitting there. Is that a dude? He moved, didn't he? He's moving! That's the other place that I was going to head to. I'm not sure if I should now. Okay, this is odd. It has like tons of places I can go. Downstairs, left or right. Okay, let's go talk to Mr. Wheelchair Man. He looks like he's in for... He looks like he wants a chat. Looks like he'd be good for a scare or two. Oh, I heard like a pool of blood sound. Ugh. It's a lot of blood. A blood on the floor. What I get now? Project Wallrider patient status report for Chris Walker. Yeah, yeah, yes. Patient age 32. Morphogenic engine activity, blah, blah, blah. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous... His enormous size. Do you get it? Ha <laughs> ha! Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with the failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tartara lizards and their per parietal eyes? What is with all these big words? I'm, I'm normally really good at reading big words, English big words, and I can't, I have never heard any of these. He's expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Tending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to, ha seem to be retarding progression to the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol, a continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So this guy is not so bonkers. I can't read. I need sleep. Feels like they're putting in all these big words to try and sound like something better is happening. Hey, look at this dude. Look, what's up? What's up, dude? Can I take a picture? Smile, you're on candid camera. Why am I going near this dude? Why am I walking towards him? Should I sneak? Stay there! You're not gonna do anything, are you? Are you just gonna stay there? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. It's a, it's a good man in a wheelchair. I like you! Are these guys, like, evil? Are they gonna hurt me? Should I test the waters? Dude, you're not watching anything! Hi? Dude, you've no freaking hands! Crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Oh, so I can just walk around? They're not gonna hurt me? What in the holy shit? That guy looks like a swamp monster. Okay, good guys. Good little mental patients. Good little mental patients. I'm out of here. Freaky dicks. Okay, yeah, so you can like hold, left click, and then move with WASD to open a door slowly. Or you can just press left click and he opens the door really fast. It's kind of cool. It's a neat mechanic. I like it. Dude, you got fucked up! I'll take your badge, though. Keycard for security control. Awesome. It's a good choice to come here, then. 
So I'm gonna need that for one of the other directions. Thank God he's still there. I thought he was just gonna disappear. No, of course he can't go that way. Can't go anywhere that it says exit. You never can in these games. Why would you? That's that's a way to get out of the horror. And you guys are all sitting in the same positions. That's lovely. Thank you. I was going to stand there and taunt you, but I have a feeling that... Hoken the demon. Ah! Ah! Get away from me. Get away from me. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. You smell. You smell and you have scabs all over your face. Get away from me. Oh my god. Asshole. Close the door. That a boy. Oh, I should have expected that. Horror 101, Jack. Come on. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm sorry if you guys want to see a lot more of it right now, but it's a good length for the video and it's a good stopping off point. But this game is so good. I cannot wait to dive further into this. I'm, I'm going to play this constantly from now until it's finished. This might just be all that's coming out on my channel. I have some other stuff done from before that I can upload as well. But for the most part, there might be like two parts of this a day. One part depending on how long it is. So let me know if you guys want to see like shorter parts. Like if this is a good length, like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I know some people haven't got a lot of time to watch these videos if they're longer. So let me know what length is good for you. And I will try and get at least two parts of this out a day because I'm going to be playing it nonstop, recording every single time. So... It should be coming out fairly regular, but thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I stayed up really late to get this out on time and make sure that it came out today, right now, whenever you're watching it, as opposed to coming out the day after. So I'm sure you guys can appreciate how hard that is because my internet sucks so much. Three gigabyte game. It took me six hours to download it. Three gigabytes. Six hours. Eight hours, actually, not six. Jesus, what am I talking about? But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click the annotations at the end for more stuff that Jacksepticeye has done. And punch that like button in its asylum face. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video! Oh my fucking holy Jesus, she's right there! Oh my god! That is a good scare! Got it. Fuck you, little girl! She has her arms outstretched! No! No, 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 no! What, what, what? Holy crap, where do I go? What do I do?